Hi, I'm Jackson with NextGen Energy, and today I want to talk to you about sizing the system for your home. So the best way to size the system is to look at how your existing furnace is performing. So to do that, we start by pulling the face plate off the furnace. Inside the face plate, we're going to see exactly what the rating of the furnace is, so you know how much heat it's putting out when it's on. Then the next part that we have to look at is we have to time the cycles of how often the furnace is on. And when you look at a furnace, there's two parts. There's the flame, which is bringing the heat into the home, and then there's the fan. Most of the time when you're in the house and you hear the furnace on, it's usually you're hearing the fan. So it's important to come down, look at the furnace, and through the sight glass, see the flame on time. And so we start by, by timing a cycle, and we time how long the flame is on, and then we time how long it's not on. So we get an on time and an off time, and we can compare those two times to fully understand what the heat input is into the home. Alright, we just finished running the test on this furnace in this particular house. This furnace stayed on for 16 minutes and was off for 4 minutes. So now we've collected some of the data we need. Some other data we're also going to have to know is the thermostat set temperature of the house. We want to make sure that hasn't changed recently. So if you have a programmable thermostat, you want to make sure it's been set at the same temperature for at least an hour. The other thing we want to look at is the outside air temperature. That's going to be kind of the heat load on the house. And we also are going to want to make sure we're doing this test at night and evening uh, where we're getting a constant temperature and we're not getting a lot of heat coming in from the sun that would skew the results. So now we have five things that we can go to our next gen website and look at what our true heat load is on our house. We're going to have our furnace size that we got from the nameplate. We're going to have the on time, the off time. We're going to have our set thermostat temperature in the house, 60, 70 degrees, and then we're also going to have the outside air temperature, 25, 30 degrees, something like that. And we can plug all those into the formula, and out we can put the size of the system you'll need, as well as what your expected annual savings will be with the geothermal conversion. So go ahead, give that a try, and you can see what size system you're going to need.